Hello, comrades, and welcome back to SpongeBob the movie, the game. I'm just gonna. I, I don't really know what I'm gonna call it. Uh. for short, but. Anyway, last time we got through the. What is this place called? Goofy Goober's Ice Cream Parlor? There you are, Patrick. I've been trying to find you all evening. Uh, it's 8 in the morning, SpongeBob. Oh my gosh, 8 o'clock. I am late for work. Mr. Krabs is gonna kill me. Oh. Mr. Krabs. Back at the Krusty Krab, King Neptune confronts Mr. Krabs about his alleged thievery. He asks if there is anyone present who may vouch for Mr. Krabs' character. And our yellow knucklehead McSpazitron shows up to accuse Mr. Krabs of being a horrible person. King Neptune zaps Mr. Krabs, causing SpongeBob to sober up quickly. He selflessly volunteers to journey to Shell City and retrieve the King's crown. Freezing Mr. Krabs in place, King Neptune grants a six-day reprieve, so SpongeBob and Patrick may attempt to retrieve the crown. King Neptune's daughter Mindy provides SpongeBob and Patrick with a magic mirror through which she can communicate and assist our heroic duo. We continue as SpongeBob and Patrick arrive at the paddy wagon. Uh, we had that mirror. Uh, in the last stage, so I don't know what's up with the continuity of the narrator, but... Alright, Sandwich Driving 101. I don't pre I don't care for this stage in the slightest, and you're gonna find out why. Patrick, it's time to start your journey. Drive the paddy wagon through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. This road will take you through Bikini Bottom to the edge of town. Don't let the paddy wagon take too much damage, or you'll have to start again. Okay. Our journey begins. Epic. Heroic. Daring. Valiant. Courageous. SpongeBob, you're driving a sandwich. I've never seen that uh, glitch before, but okay. Not just a sandwich, a Krabby Patty. Yeah, okay. Big difference. Jeez. Now that's a big difference. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's get this over with, actually, because I really don't like these driving stages. And the reason is the control is so awkward. Nitros, okay. So that's what these things are called. Yeah, but the control is so awkward. I swear, it, it's so loose. And, okay, see, I'm having a hard time hitting things because it's just... Oh, my God. I guess, like... How could I describe what this control feels like? Uh... Uh, that's not a shortcut. The shortcut comes later. Okay. Okay. Alright, so... I guess maybe, uh... Mario Kart Double Dash. We all we all know that game. Great game. But we have to admit, it has an awkward control that we need to get used to. It's... It doesn't take long to get used to, but... Take that... That moment where it's that awkward feeling of the control. You're not used to it in the slightest. And multiply it by... Uh... A thousand. That's how awkward this really feels. I don't know. Maybe it's just like because they wanted it to be like you're actually driving a SpongeBob and SpongeBob has never been a good driver. Uh, I was lucky enough to hit that. But yeah, uh, SpongeBob's never been a good driver. So I guess that's what they wanted you to feel like. But why? Just why? I don't, I don't like this control in the slightest. I would rather have good driving controls instead of bad driving controls that try to stimulate a character more. Well, I probably just killed that guy. He went flying out of his car. You can rewind and see that. It looked like he was gonna fly out of his freaking car. All right, destroy these crates. Why are there crates in the middle of the road? I don't know. All right, well, I do know the controls somewhat, so it's not, it's nothing I can't get used to, but then the later stages... Oh, oh, fuck you. Did I even touch that? It didn't even look like I did. All right. Okay, the later stages have really sharp turns and, you know, gaps that you gotta jump across. And this is not the kind of car that has good jumping control either. Like, once you activate this nitro, it just... Oh, God, I hate it. Yeah, and I get that what they were trying to do with the with a little reference to the movie when the sandwich comes apart. 
But if you have to like, if you have to kind of finick with the controls a little bit to make that little reference, I'd rather not have the reference. All right. Jeez, I hate that one. Oh God. Also this game, like this game punishes you. Watch this. You see how far it flung me back? This game like punishes you really hard for running into things on the car stages. There we go. I win. You've reached the edge of town and now you can go on to the next part of your journey. Here's your reward. Come back again if you want another driving challenge. I won't, but I know I have to eventually. With the chaos of Bikini Bottom behind us, SpongeBob and Patrick begin their long journey towards Shell City. However, with SpongeBob gone, all is not well. Plankton is now selling the Krabby Patty at the Chum Bucket, and with every purchase, customers are getting a mind-controlling bucket helmet. Squidward has discovered Plankton's plan to create an army of bucket heads. Will Squidward save the day? No. <laughs> On the outskirts of town, SpongeBob and Patrick meet some of the charming locals who tell them they will not last long outside the city. But our friends do not listen. They should have listened. <laughs> our heroes are now stranded in a vast desert with only their feet for transportation. 3,000 miles to Shell City. I don't remember, uh, how many miles it was to Shell City in the actual movie, but, uh, I think, uh, isn't it like 3,000 miles? Like, isn't that the length of America? Is using those don't quote me on that. I, I can't be sure. Someone Google it for me, actually. Leave it in the comments. You have enough Goofy Goober tokens. Now I can teach you the bash move. Ah, here we go. Now I am the master. The bash move is like literally the bubble bash from Battle of Bikini Bottom. Only I think it's a little faster. Yeah, see, it's even the same button. Wow, thanks, Mindy. Those radio towers are broadcasting Plankton's hypnotizing messages. If we don't do something soon, every creature in the sea will be under Plankton's control. You have to go into the desert and shut them down. Isn't this the really dangerous desert that no one has ever returned from? Uh, no. I think that's the desert next to this one. Oh, well in that case, I'll have those towers shut down in a jiffy. Alrighty then. Oh god, it's those rednecks. Look at them, look at them just laughing at me. I want to go over there and punch them. But I can't. For now, I just need to carry on with my job. Do not fall into the cacti or you will die instantly. <laughs> well, too bad. You gotta go play a game of punch. Up the app. Did that attack just... Okay. The this is more glitches I've seen than the last time I tried to play through this game. I'll explain that in a minute. But we've seen, like, three weird glitches so far? I haven't seen that many before. Just strange. I don't know. It just... I figured, uh... The gunk shots should be, like, going right at you, but instead they're going backwards. Alright, so anyway, about me, uh, playing through this game a second time for this playthrough. I did it one time, you know, attempting to, uh, boom, boom, alright. Attempting to, uh, you know, play the game. Unfortunately, I mixed up on the sound, 
for the game. Like, the music in the game was too loud. I couldn't hear the dialogue very well. I figured that was not going to sound good in the recording. Well, it didn't sound in the good in the recording. So I decided, eh, you know what, I'll just play the game again. And uh, it was only two hours wasted, so whatever. It could have been far worse. All right, come here. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. Yeah, it probably wasn't a good idea to corner yourself. Uh, let's see. Punch. Punch. Alright, there we go. He's nice and dead. Wow. What? Plankton's brainwashing signal, Mindy called it. Doesn't sound very brainwashing in the slightest. Alright, I think there's an extra back here, so I'm gonna quickly go back here and... Obey. <laughs> okay, whatever you say, Plankton. Let me go ahead and there's an extra right in here. Awesome. Yeah, it just says obey. I have five treasure chests already? Wow. Alright then. Uh, let's see. I need to get up there. So I'm going to come around here. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, another manliness point. Come here. Come here. Come here. Not for long, son of a bitch. Why are you saying sorry to a radio tower that was literally evil? <laughs> uh, I don't know why, but that's clever to me. Oh, shit, no, I broke too many. I wanted to get up there, but... Do I have a jump now? Alright, anyway, let's just go ahead and break you. Break you. That sound effect was very delayed. What is up with the sounds? Like, they're so delayed sometimes. What is... Oh, what is up with that? Oh. Three hit points for SpongeBob. You know what? I can upgrade that. Let's go ahead and upgrade SpongeBob's health to four Krabby Patties. Awesome. Krabby Patty with extra manliness, please. All right, and I have one extra upgrade point. Hmm. I will... I'm going to use that for Patrick's star spin because next level I play as Patrick. Reflecto All right. Let's see. I'll explain, uh... I'll explain what the upgrade does when we get to the next level. For now, let's just concentrate on this level. What's up, bitches? <laughs> You're dead. Alright, anyway. No. Me neither. Ah, I cannot wait until. Just just patience, everyone. They'll they'll get theirs. They'll get theirs. Alright, anyway, next up is a challenge I love. This right here is probably one of my favorite parts of the game. The Spongeball challenges. They are so much fun. Are you ready, kids? Set, go. You got it. All right, so basically what you are, what you do here is you're the Spongeball, and you got to make it through these little obstacle courses. Uh, for those of you who watched my Battle of Bikini Bottom playthrough and saw the very last part, it's, it's reminiscent of the Spongeball arena in that game. Which I assume is where they got the idea to do this, and honestly, I wish there were challenges like these in Battle of Bikini Bottom as well. I mean... Well, I mean, they're here, so I guess, uh... Whatever. I mean, I'm just glad there is a game that has these kind of challenges, because I find these to be one of the funnest parts of the game. Uh, let's see. I don't know how- I don't know how many of these there are of these in the game, but... If I had to guess, maybe there's like... Four of them, which a little disappointing because they're awesome. But uh, it's it's still nice to actually play them. All right. Now something kind of interesting here is, I don't know if this happened in the in Battle of Bikini Bottom, but as you noticed, uh, when the platforms moved, I didn't move with them. And uh, I don't remember if that kind of mechanic was in Battle of Bikini Bottom or just this game. All right. Go 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 go! Don't fall off. Fuck. Oh. 
fuck. These are really hard, too. Like, you, you fuck up once. This is the problem with these stages, though. They are so unforgiving. I'm all the way back at the start. So that's a serious problem. But all right, let's do this again. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, just made it. All right, and Goofy Goober token is mine. And SpongeBob's feet are planted in the ground instead of on the ground. Interesting, I suppose. All right, let's go ahead and get back to the desert so I can knock out the rest of those radio towers and then move on to the next level. Any day now, loading. There we go. We. I don't feel like fighting them over again. I just hear those freaking rednecks. Oh, I gotta knock this one up. I can probably just. All right, here we go. There we go. Just made it. Take your banjo and go to hell with it. And you. Boom. There we are. Alright, so I can go ahead and break these. Push that. Which will give a nice uh, string of platforms. Yep. I don't know why there's steam vents in the middle of the desert, but I don't know. Just, just don't question it, I guess. Alright. You gotta be careful to break just one crate here. So you can get up here and get that uh, 50 manliness point. Point. Dumbbell. Uh. Alright. Now this is a fucking outhouse, by the way. The enemies literally spawn from an outhouse. Can, can we can we talk about this game's seriously weird bathroom fetish? You switch from SpongeBob to Patrick in an outhouse or in a porta potty. Enemies in this level spawn from an outhouse. Why? Just just why game? That's what the fuck? What was wrong with like the bus? The bus stop from Battle of Bikini Bottom, that was a clever idea. Couldn't you just repeat that? Or hell, maybe like a fucking costume booth? Fucking anything but a fucking porta potty. What the hell? Ah, oh, alright, whatever. Let's just keep moving on. Alright. Got it. In Goofy, we trust. Neat. All right, let's see. All right, trampoline right on back over. There we are. Let me grab that. Punch you. Stop apologizing to the evil radio tower. It's literally evil. All right, steam vents. Not too big of a problem unless you jump into this one. But just be wary of that one. I can probably jump. Yeah, there we go. Come on. There we go. Uh, let's see. I don't know why Plankton bothered putting bucket helmets on the jellyfish. I mean, what could the jellyfish possibly do for it? Well, they could. I suppose they could, you know, attack people for him. But they already did that to SpongeBob and Patrick before. I, it's just a waste of bucket helmets. All right, here we go. This is a block challenge. These are not my favorite kind of challenges. The problem with these is, okay, you know, you gotta hop along this path of blocks and try not to fall off or else uh, you go back. I mean, there are checkpoints in some of the, oh, that was close. There are checkpoints in some of these block challenges, so these are a little more merciful, thank god. Alright, now... Indeed, Patrick. Alright, so what I want to do, I want to get that extra... Alright, I need to get on this cube. Or I can just grab it like that and move on. Alright. 
So the problem here is that it's a little difficult to predict where you're gonna jump on. I guess mostly because it traps me in some kind of illusion, because everything is the same fucking shape. Uh, I don't know, it's just, it's just a little, uh, it's a little much on my eyes. Nothing I can't deal with, but it's a little distracting, I guess I could say. Alright, so we get to a checkpoint. By the way, did you notice the time limit? Yeah, I, I always, I fucking hate time limits. Like, if there's anything in a game that I hate, it's fucking time limits. I've, I've, I've never been a fan of time limits. They always just, they suck in my eyes. They suck in my opinion, really. I mean, sometimes they're not really an issue. Like, in any of the Mario games, time limits are never really that big of a problem. Uh, just trying to concentrate because it's easy to fall off here. Ooh, that was close! Okay. Now this is where things are gonna get really unfun. For some reason, the drop shadow that helps you know where you're going to land, it disappears, and then this fucking shit starts happening where you're literally inside a giant fucking cube, and holy fuck, that is so distracting, but I've gotta stay concentrated. Oh my god, end it, end it. Oh god, I hate that. Ah. <sighs> All right then. Uh, let's see. You bitch. No, get back here. Die like a man. Like a fat ass. Ha! You're dead. Good for you, SpongeBob. Alright, so this is pretty easy once you know what to do. You just gotta go up there, punch that. And you gotta go up there. I think it's kind of funny how the outhouse fucking explodes. Alright, yeah. If you get hit by these guys' attacks, it's, uh... Their their attacks will cause you to go into ice mechanics for a little while. But, uh, not for too long. It's not too hard to kill them. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this Krabby Patty. I'm surprised SpongeBob will eat a Krabby Patty that's out in the middle of the desert. Alright, then let's go ahead and... Alright. By the way, uh, in this game, if you touch the water, you'll actually lose health. Unlike in Battle for Bikini Bottom, where, uh, you know, it, you just, uh, gravitate back up or you just die automatically. Which, uh, honestly, I kind of like. It does add a little bit more of a challenge. Alright, come over here, you son of a bitch. I'll hail my ass. What an ego you have, Plankton. All right, let's go ahead and... By the way, don't believe me about the uh, porta potty how you change characters. I'm not lying. All right, anyway, we need SpongeBob for this anyway. This hurts me more than it hurts you, evil radio tower. All right, one, two... Fuck these guys, they're just... They just keep sitting there, they fucking laugh at me. God, why can't I punch them? Why can't I punch them? Oh well. Oh, so the, the buttons are timed. I didn't know that, actually. <laughs> now you got yours! <laughs> they're fucking dead. <laughs> They're so fucking dead. Ah. Alright, let's go ahead and get on out of this level. Alright, good for you, SpongeBob. How long has this episode been going on for? Rub a dub dub, slide in the tub. I suppose we have enough time for this. I found one last spot with those ugly plankton propaganda towers. Use whatever you can find to knock them down. There's giant targets. I think those will suffice. Alright, so... The slide levels here are actually pretty fun. Just letting you guys check out the scenery for now. The last of Plankton's propaganda towers are here on the edge of the desert. Oh, breathtakingly evil. 
these tracks form part of a slide through this area. I need you two to race down them and knock those towers over. Sounds kinda hard. Don't worry, guys. Stay on the track, jump over obstacles, and hit any plankton signs you see along the way. Good luck. All right, well, those aren't really plankton signs, they're just giant targets. I mean, if they had pictures of plankton on them, okay. I didn't do that. Good. All right, one out of five towers destroyed. Won't be hard. All right, destroy that. I didn't hear that radio tower, but I assume it was just plankton asking people to turn SpongeBob and Patrick in. I guess it's before he sent Dennis after them. Well, we can just help ourselves, Plankton. Alright, so the slide levels are pretty fun. You got a problem, Patrick. They're not the that hard. I mean, they can be. First time playing it, some of these slides are beyond ridiculous. Indeed. All right. Uh. Here comes the pain. Train. I kind of like that voice line of Patrick. All right. So, avoid the vents, steam vents. With a little practice, it's not that hard. More like giant xylophones. I really would rather him not answer that question. Because I fear what kind of answer he will give. Alright, so. Go on, climb up this. Knock out some more of these bastards. What did he say? Alright, jump over these. Jump over this. Jump over that. Did the music just glitch? Did anyone else hear that? Sure thing, Plankton. All right, we get through this. Did you right, so... to tell us if the train was still running around here? Uh, no, she did not, SpongeBob. All right, so what else? What can I talk about right here? Um, this slide level is actually particularly easy. But the later ones, there's three in total, uh, can be a little bit hard. I think the second one, no, the third one. The third one, unfortunately, is hard in a more unfair way. It's got those rounded tracks. Like, uh, anybody who watched the Battle of Bikini Bottom playthrough, remember, um, the Kelp Force vines? You know, those, those things that are rounded at the edge, so it's easy to fall off them. Yeah, the third slide track has those kind of slides. All right, so it's hard, it's easy to fall off them. By the way, you have to take this uh, path. You have to jump off and take this path. Otherwise you will reach a dead end where you fall off and die and have to go back to the last checkpoint. All right. Come on, all right. That is not easy to do on your first try. Alright, where was I? Something about, uh, the third track, yeah. It's my least favorite. But I guess it's still alright. I knew you guys could do it. Here's your reward. Thank you, Mindy. Oh, boy. <laughs> awesome. Alright. 